Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. So I had a request, which I love request. So for those of you that might be new, we're doing a couple different series right now. We're doing a beginner series, an intermediate series, and we're doing a request from you. So anything that's on your mind or anything you need help with, just say so in the comments and we'll I'll jot it down in the notebook and we'll get to it pretty soon or if it's something you need help with in a you know a timely matter say so that way i know that it's not something to work in so to speak it's something we need to address right away so that works out good for both of us i know what you guys want to see and now i know what i need to produce so somebody asked about telemetry what is telemetry that's communication wirelessly between to uh, two objects telemetry is not just for remote controlled airplanes it's for everything wireless but telemetry has become more affordable for us in the RC airplanes and someone asked how do I get into it what do I need what does it cost well there's a couple different ways going about getting telemetry with spectrum and I'm going to show you a couple different setups and I'll show you in, in a zoom uh, camera and kind of describe everything we got going on but I've got three different setups here these two are the same this right here is I guess you can call it the generation one telemetry this is a, a TM 1000 module and you would connect it to your receiver and your receiver has to be um, data telemetry capable. So where you put your bind plug in to find out if your receiver can use this module, where the bind plug goes, it'll say uh, bind program data. It'll say three, three different words right there in, in that port. If you have data, <clears throat> then you can use the TM1000 and that allows your sensors and stuff for your telemetry for your battery voltage and temperature whatever else you plug into the system it allows that data to go from the TM1000 to your receiver and then to your transmitter and then back but you gotta have a receiver capable of that and there's several of those this is an AR610 and, and it has uh, data capable so you would need a receiver capable of data then you would need a TM1000 and the TM1000 opens up the door for telemetry sensors. Directly in the TM1000 is a plug for battery voltage, for uh, battery temperature, plus uh, plus RPMs, and um, and that's it. And then an XBus uh, connector. You know, what XBus is? is the plug for all your other devices that this is a, a battery uh, amp draw so you can see how many milliamps your, your plane is using as you're flying or you can plug in an airspeed indicator or a vario sensor or, or a g4 sensor <clears throat> stuff like that also when you plug in the tm1000 into a data capable uh, receiver you will get flight log and uh, receiver voltage so for those of you flying glow if you put in a tm1000 into you know this ar610 then you would get flight log flight log is the the signal strength between the receiver and your transmitter and you would get your receiver voltage which is real good for glow <clears throat> and you and you don't have to use anything else if you want but the plugs are there to, for temperature which is good for your uh, engine temperature and then uh, you have RPMs so you, you'd have to get a magnetic sensor for uh, for your glow engine or if you're using electric this is a, a brushless sensor so <clears throat> you would need all that to get your battery voltage and some temperature flight log and other XBUS devices in the new age of things we have smart receivers this setup right here does everything all this does 
<clears throat> and if you were using a smart battery, a Spectrum smart battery, then you just opened up the, the door of seeing all the, all the battery data. Each cell voltage, the temperature of the battery, how many charge cycles you've had in the battery. I mean, the list goes on. Everything that's, that's smart and available in the battery to see, now you can see it because the smart battery is plugged into the smart speed control going to the smart receiver. <clears throat> so if you're not using smart receivers, say you're flying a lot of glow and you wanted to see your, uh, <clears throat> your flight log and, and temperature and RPM stuff, then, then you'd have to go with the TM1000. So let me do a, a close up here and, and show you guys everything going on here. Before we do the close up, there, there's one other way to, to see uh, battery voltage telemetry and that's the, that's the receiver that's in this plane and I'll do a close-up on that too but that's this is an AR637 receiver and you can tell the difference between that smart receiver and the other smart receivers because the 637 has the little plugs for the X bus uh, and for the battery voltage and stuff directly in the side of the receiver which is similar to the TM1000 that has the plugs in the side. This will all make sense when I zoom in here. Okay, the AR637TA. You get all the telemetry data with the AS3X, you know, the, the G-forces and the forward programming, and you get the flight log and, and um, receiver voltage, and then... Yeah, the little pigtail you see right there is for your battery voltage. If you're not using a smart ESC and you want to see your battery voltage, just the pack volts, that little two-plug pigtail, you can tie directly into your pack. The other plug is for XBUS. That's for all the other uh, sensors you can get, which we'll go over. And then the other plug is for the satellite receiver. Okay, this is the... Uh, TM1000 module which is right here and then this would be your receiver and where it says bind your your bind area it's got to say data I'm trying to get you guys in there it right there says bind data if your receiver says data then you can hook up a TM1000 into the mix and already in the TM1000 is a temperature and volt. And it ha you can use a Y harness. This right here is a temperature probe that you wrap around a battery pack. Or you can wrap it around the head of your uh, glow engine. And then this is just a pigtail to go to your battery pack. And then right here is RPMs. And right, I have a brushless motor RPM sensor. You just connect it to any two wires on the motor. Or you could get a, a magnetic sensor uh, to see the RPMs on your glow engine. And then on the side is XBUS. And the XBUS is where you plug in all the other sensors you can get a hold of. This is a battery amp draw for your flight pack. And then you can see it's got the X bus sensor right here going to the TM1000. And then there's another X bus coming out to go to another sensor if you want. The only other sensor I have is a uh, uh, for airspeed. But you can daisy chain as many of these X bus sensors as you want. And, and there's, there's several of them. Okay, so... If you're not using a smart receiver, it's got to say data where you put the bind plug. Then you can use a TM1000 and see your battery voltage, temperature, and RPMs plus XBUS modules. Okay, just to, just to say, wow, technology has come a long ways. Our TM1000 module gave us temperature, uh, battery voltage, RPMs the flight log and receiver voltage and then right here does everything that did plus a ton more in two in, in two pieces so in this receiver right here 
is all the telemetry data that the TM-1000 has because it's smart and it can pick it all that information off of the smart receiver. <clears throat> now, like I showed you inside my plane there, if you weren't using the smart receiver and you had the AR637T or TA, or there's an 836 or a 1036, not using a smart receiver, then you would have the plugs in the side of it, just like the TM1000 has. So this is a way <clears throat> to, to see everything that the TM-1000 was doing. Alright, here's, here's some comparisons. Uh, smart receiver, smart receiver, and a smart speed control. Smart speed control. The difference is this one you can use a smart battery on. There's actually a third wire that runs down uh, this right here and would go to an IC, uh, IC3 connector. I have the third wire folded back out of the way because I don't use smart batteries. This speed control right here is a 30 amp that you would find in um, uh, the Apprentice and the Carbon Cub and I think there's an Aero Scout. <clears throat> and this has battery voltage, RPMs, temperature, all the data that's in the speed control, but no smart battery information. This one is capable of everything this one is and the smart battery. Okay, well now that we've seen it up close, the next video I'll do will be cost. What, what does it cost to do this depending on what receiver you're already using or what transmitter you already have. I'll try to break it down kind of for everybody. So that'll be the next video on telemetry, which will come this week. And then the following two videos after that will be for the intermediate setup. We'll do programming a receiver. And uh, you know, like you bought a, bought a PNP plane with no receiver and we're gonna put a receiver in it. So that's gonna be the, the lineup for the next couple of videos. Okay guys, hey, thank you so much. If you uh, haven't subscribed, please do. And click the like button. That helps out the YouTube algorithm and, and keeps uh, the subscriber count going up. The subscriber count going up keeps me doing this. So that everybody's happy. I just can't say thank you guys enough for everything. It, it really means a whole lot to me. Okay guys, hey, thank you. Until next time, you'll see me here.